Hey, what's up guys? Dragoncraft here with another brick video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Wii U and Nintendo in general and the Nintendo NX. So, uh, I'm trying a new thing here where I recorded some gameplay and I'm going to voice over. Uh, it didn't work out too well for me the first time because I didn't turn on my microphone. <laughs> so I recorded all this already and forgot about my microphone. So yeah, I wasted my time there. But um, anyways, this time... I have my mic on, so, um, so I want to talk about the Nintendo NX and, well, Nintendo in general on their console base currently. Um, we all know the Wii U has not been doing very well and is unfortunately pandering the same way that the Wii did, uh, trying to just use some casual gaming experiences which is unfortunately for them not working anymore um, because people have smartphones and they don't need it. Uh, but now, the Wii U is still just first party. And that's really frustrating for a lot of people. And really, third party should be supported on the Wii or the Nintendo NX, I guess, um, before, before they can start you know, doing well again. Um, right now, they... They've been close to um, bankruptcy, kind of. Uh, it's a good thing they had um, Pokemon Go, because that really increased their stocks. But it's been very uh, frightening. And, well, okay, I'm not sure. I don't think they've actually been close to bankruptcy, but I'm sure if the NX didn't go well and they hadn't had released Pokemon Go, they'd be pretty close. Um... But yeah, uh, the Nintendo NX should better be good, otherwise there's going to be some serious problems with Nintendo. Um, but the biggest thing that they need is third-party support, and the reason for that is, uh, well, quite simply, third-party support allows for the games that we know and love from other consoles. When there's just exclusives, it's very unfortunate, because games like Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto and... Uh, need for Speed, Guitar Hero, stuff like that. A couple of those might have been available for the Wii U, but in general they probably weren't all. Um, but yeah, the Wii U doesn't have any third-party games, really, besides just a few. Um, and that's really frustrating because like anybody who wants to have the Wii U as a console, well, most people can't afford multiple consoles. They're just going to pick one. And they're not going to pick the Wii U because... There's only the games for Wii U on there. That's like buying a phone that only has a couple apps available for it. Just like buying a Verizon phone and only being able to get Verizon apps. It's very frustrating and sad. So they're not going to pick a Wii because, you know, it's, it's the same kind of difference there. Um, but that's why the Wii, or the NX, needs to have third-party support. Um, you see... Um, a lot of people think that um, third-party support isn't important, but really it is because people who are only getting one console are going to get the one that they can play the popular games on, not the one they can play Mario on. The only people who are going to get the one that just has Mario and other Nintendo exclusives are old-timer gamers. Like, not old-timer, I mean, like, people who've been gaming for a long time and uh, miss the old Nintendo days when they were the kings. And that's really where the problem is, is because they're staying in the past and not allowing third-party support so much. So there's a lot of games you just could never play on there that everybody loves, you know? Like Minecraft just barely got released for Wii U. And it's frustrating to see that the Wii U um, doesn't support many third-party games. And that's why it's doing so bad. And that's why the sales are just horrible on it, and it's not lasting that long. So, what I want to see in the in the NX, and I think everybody wants to see, is third-party support, like supported all the way, and better hardware to be able to bring out, you know, the more hardware-intensive games. For example, Grand Theft Auto V was going to be on the Wii U, but it wasn't powerful enough, so they couldn't put it on there, and that that's a really sad thing to see. And if you listen to some of the people at Nintendo, they don't care that it's not powerful enough. 
they often say it's not about the power, it's about the experience, but really the power drives the experience. And that is why it hasn't been doing well, is because, well, the lack of third party support, and sometimes there is third party support, but it's not powerful enough. So we all know what the NX is probably going to be a tablet console hybrid type thing, like a mobile Wii U basically. So uh, that kind of disappoints some of us like myself because we know if they're going to invest that much money in something like that, they're probably not going to be able to invest much in the hardware and we really don't want to see Nintendo fall again. I mean, I would love to see Nintendo as a full-on gaming console. I'd like to see actual people buying an NX simply because it's a full-on console, and that would be a console of choice. But do you know anybody whose favorite console is a Wii U? I don't think so, and if you do, they're either a casual gamer or they just are really... Um, in the past and liking the old games and such and a lot of people are ready to move on now me personally I do want a Wii U or an NX I suppose if the NX is uh, reverse compatible you see I want to have all the consoles so I can play any game I want um, I already have a PS3 and a PS4 and an Xbox 360 and I'm probably getting an Xbox One soon and a Wii U when I can but when people um, get the Wii U, it's generally as a secondary or third or fourth or the last console that they get. You know, maybe they want to play Mario, but they just don't want to play just Mario, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I'd like to see the Wii U get third-party support so it can be a real contender in the gaming market and not just be for Mario. And I know there's more games than Mario, but just in general... Nintendo games. So that's my two cents on this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.